Hi, welcome to Open Door Yoga. My name is Michelle and this sequence is all about feel-good postures. You may have noticed I haven't posted in a little bit. Um, I've been a little under the weather and so I figured what better way to come back than to film a class that's focused on those days where we're just not feeling our best. So maybe we're still feeling a little run down from a cold that we're working through. Maybe our body's just feeling stiff or sore. Today's the class for you. It's all about feeling good and it's a chair yoga practice. So the only prop you need today is a stable chair. So preferably one that has four legs that can ground down evenly into the ground. If you have a chair that has wheels, just make sure that your chair is locked so that it's stable for you as you transition between the different postures. So take a minute, get set up, then let's get started. We're gonna to start today's practice in a comfortable seat, but one where both of our feet are grounded evenly into the earth. Um, you may have to scoot forward just a smidge so you can feel grounded into both of your sitting bones. Maybe even shuffle from side to side if that helps you align your body just a little bit more easily. Stack your shoulders over your hips, ears over your shoulders, and as the crown of your head lifts up, Shoulders slide down away from your ears. Take a moment, connect with your breath. On days where our body is just not feeling in top form, our breath can be very healing. It can help us slow our body down when we're feeling anxious. It can help heal our body when we're feeling sick. So allow your inhales to fill up your entire chest space, even down into your abdominals. And your exhales, allow that gentle collapse as the breath leaves your body and heads back out into the world. As you're ready, begin to take some really small, gentle shoulder circles. You can choose any direction that you'd like. We're gonna switch it up here in a minute. So find what feels good. Maybe your shoulder circles get a little bit bigger. Maybe they don't. If it's too much, if it's almost too much energy to do both shoulders at once, maybe take one at a time. If your shoulders need a little extra love, you can really lean into it. And as you're ready, let's switch directions. So if you were taking those shoulder circles backwards, switch to forwards. And if you were taking them forwards, switch to backwards. Same options apply. If you wanna do your single shoulder rolls, take them onto this direction too. Take two more wherever you are at. And then bring your fingertips up to the tops of your shoulders. Your elbows can stay loose for now. Take a minute to feel that tall spine, reconnect with your breath, and then begin to draw some circles with your elbows, again, in either direction that you choose, because we're gonna switch it up. These can be very small circles, or if you're feeling really open, Maybe we reach those elbows a little bit higher towards the sky and send them a little closer to the front and back walls. Stay connected with your breath. Maybe send your breath to the muscles that are doing a little work here. And as you're ready, let's change directions. Take just a couple more in the second direction before we find stillness in our comfortable tall seat. From here, let's start working into our spine and our lower back. Plant your right hand on the side of your chair. You can even grab your chair to give you a little bit more stability. 
On your next breath in, send your left fingertips up towards the sky, reach up off of your waist, and then exhale, hinge to the right. Breathe into your left rib cage. If you're noticing that you're starting to round down, no worries. See if you can restack your shoulder blades. So your left shoulder blades tucked onto that back body. Almost like you're reaching your left rib cage to stack on top of the right. Inhale, rise back up. Exhale, release your left hand to your right hip. And then inhale your right hand up high. Again, lift up and over your waist. Exhale, hinge to the left. You may feel this side stretch a little bit more intensely, especially in your low back. And if that's the case, send your breath there. When I feel a lot of sensation in my low back, I send my breath to my lower belly to give my body a little bit of love, a little support. Inhale, rise. Exhale, release everything back to center. Let's take that to the other side. So inhale, right fingertips back up towards the sky. Ground that left hand. Exhale, hinge to the left. Notice if you start rocking off of that right hip. If that's the case, see if you can bring a little bit of integrity into that right thigh bone to pull your right sitting bone back down to the ground. Inhale, rise. Exhale, right hand to left hip. Inhale, send that left fingertip or those left fingertips up towards the sky. Exhale, hinge to the right. Breathe deep. Check in with what you're experiencing in your body right now. And if any part of you needs a little love, send your breath there. Inhale, rise. Exhale, release. Hands can come to the fronts of your knees. We're gonna start with some small belly circles. You can choose either direction. And just begin to send your heart forward when you're here in the front of your circle. And as you make your way to the back, you can use your arms as a little bit of leverage to round through your upper spine, pull those shoulder blades away from each other. And just keep moving. Pause in places that feel good. You can make your circles even bigger, sending your weight out over your hips. Then let's switch directions. You could start big or you could start small. Again, take those mini seated cat and cows if they feel good to you today. Take two more circles in whatever direction your body's headed right now. And then we'll come back to center. From here, you can scoot back just slightly enough or scoot forward, whatever you need in your body to extend your right leg long. So I'm not sure if you can see me on camera, but my heel is resting on the ground. My toe is pointed up towards the sky. And then just begin to rock your toe from side to side. You may feel a little bit of rotation up here in your hip as well. Check in with your posture. If you're leaning over, um, no worries. Just see if you can find that tall spine. Having this tall spine is really going to allow you to breathe a little bit more efficiently, a little bit more effectively. Bring that foot back under you and we'll take it to the other side. So extend your left leg, find that grounding sensation underneath of your heel, and then find that same 
almost like a windshield wiper motion with your foot, with your toes, reaching towards the left side of the room, towards the right side of the room. You probably just saw me do a little posture check. You can do the same. And come back to center and from here we're going to make our way just a little deeper into those hips and so you can pop up on your tippy toes and just send your right knee out to the side and back in again almost envisioning this windshield wiper motion with your knee with your hip Allow the chair to support most of your weight so that your joints can move freely, comfortably. Let's take it to the other side. If you're feeling a lot of sensation in your hip, check in, be kind to your body. Your windshield wipers can be small or they can be big. Depending on how you're feeling in your body today, might look a little different from day to day. We'll come back to center and come back to our nice, tall, comfortable seat. From here, we're just gonna take some big arm movements to help recenter our body, take up a little bit of space and feel good. So release your hands down by your side. Inhale, sweep your arms up and overhead. Your gaze can lift if it's comfortable in your neck. Exhale, palms to touch down through heart center. Release your hands. Inhale up towards the sky. Reach your fingertips up. Exhale, slide those hands down through heart center. We'll move here through three more cycles and see if you can match your breath with your movement. So inhale, everything lifts, everything rises. And exhale, ground down through your sitting bones, through your feet as you slide those hands down through heart center. One more time, biggest stretch of the day. Exhale down through heart center and pause here at heart center. I invite you to make your way to any last minute postures or poses that feel good in your body, and then make your way to the Shavasana of your choice. Thanks for sharing this practice with me today. Namaste.